Facebook Ads has location targeting options that you're pretty familiar with. You can target users by country, state, province, zip codes, and others. But Facebook Ads also has location targeting options that are pretty unique, like neighborhoods, zip codes, and a few other ones that we're going to cover in this video. We're going to show you how you can browse for specific locations and add them to your ad sets. We'll also cover how you can bulk load locations to your ad sets to make it a lot more efficient and quicker if you need to target a lot of different locations at the same time. We'll cover how you can use them as exclusions, as well as how the location status can affect how location targeting actually works within Facebook. I'm starting off on this screen right here when you have to choose a campaign objective within Facebook Business Manager. Now, for the most part, all of the campaign objectives will use location targeting pretty much the same way. You'll be able to choose from the main location targeting options that we're going to go through in this video, with the exception of the store traffic objective. The store traffic objective has the goal of creating campaigns to drive more foot traffic into your stores, physical locations. So when you select the store traffic objective for your campaign and you've added your store locations in Business Manager, Facebook is going to use those physical store locations to try to drive more traffic. So that's going to be more ideal for local shops, restaurants, gyms, doctors, those sort of things. All the other objectives are going to use the main location targeting that you're probably interested in learning more about. So now I'm going to jump in into a newly created ad set so we can review the options we have for location targeting. Now I did say ad set because location targeting in Facebook is done at the ad set level. And we still have the option to set our budgets at the ad set level. You don't have to use campaign budget optimization. So this can make things easier to test out different locations by ad set to figure out which potential geographic regions may perform better or worse. That is why if I go over here and name this particular ad set, I typically like to include my targeting options within the naming convention of my ad set. It makes it easier for reporting and it gives me a much better idea of what I'm trying to do and where my focus is for each particular ad set. I'm not going to go through the main way of how to set up an entire campaign, so I'm just going to scroll down to where we need to be and that is the location section. You can see it lives within the main audience block within Business Manager. So from here, let's go and click Edit. And the first part we're gonna talk about is selecting the location status. And don't feel bad if this gets lost on you and you've never really noticed this before because it does blend in with everything else. So if we click on the drop down here, we see that there are four statuses. The default one is gonna be people living in or recently in this location. This will include what Facebook thinks is gonna be home locations for users, or what may be their most recent location. So when I think of this one, I think of when people go to work, if you're still going into the office. If people are within a specific location 40 hours a week, sometimes it feels like they're at the work location more than they're at their house. So even though people might not live in a specific area that you're targeting, the fact that they spend much of their time every week within a specific location could be appealing to you. If you only want to reach people who live in a specific location, there's your second option says it right there, people living in this location. And then taking the other half of the first option, you can go down to people recently in this location. I'm thinking about the work example again. Your restaurant, you have good deals for lunch, get them to come back another day. Doesn't necessarily mean that they live in this specific location, but the user was just around that specific area. And then the last option is going to be people traveling in this location. This will include people in your selected area that are still in their home country but they're more than 125 miles from their home location. Facebook says they determine this by the device and connection information. If you're trying to reach tours, people from out of town, this is the option that you will want to consider. As for the other three, it's really going to be depending on what your goal is and who you're trying to reach. So I'm just going to leave it as the default option. Facebook has previously given the warning in the past that people could see your ads organically. And this is especially true if a user who sees your ad shares it on their timeline. That is how you can possibly get views from outside your targeting locations, depending on who that user is friends with, who follows them, all that stuff. So your location targeting is going to be focused on the initial ad impression. So now we can go and start entering our specific locations. It's going to default to the country that you are currently in, but of course we can change it. I'm going to X out so we can start clean. One way to start adding locations is by hovering your mouse over the search bar right next to the magnifying glass and just search for the locations yourself. In Facebook, we can search for countries, states, provinces, cities, congressional districts, and zip codes or postcodes, whatever you call them. You can also search for some very specific locations. I had a client that only wanted to target the main strip in Las Vegas, so we were able to do that. 
with this top location, specific neighborhoods. I don't know about that location on the bottom. That's definitely not the one we were trying to reach, but you see sometimes you can get down to specific places. Not every neighborhood or place or unique option will be available. So sometimes you may have to play around with it depending on how specific you want to get. The broader your targets are, the easier it's going to be to find them. So if you are sticking to just countries or regions, know that you can add up to 25 countries. If I bring that one back, if you choose to add cities, you can add up to 250 cities. And then if you want to do zip or postcodes, you can add up to 50,000. So there's a lot of options that you could play around here. I'm going to show you a few other unique options just in case it may be helpful for your account. You can see Europe potentially going after a specific continent, the European economic area, there's the Euro area. You see it's kind of giving me a pretty big space over there. X out of there. And then you get oddball ones like this, Android app countries. If you don't care where that user is, you just want them to download your Android app, pretty good for that specific campaign objective. But I'm gonna remove that just so we can talk about a few other things. Like this link down below, adding locations in bulk. And it's easier than it seems because you don't need to upload a specific list like a CSV, like you would for any specific customer list targeting within Facebook. As you can see, we can only add one location type at a time. And I'm going to go over each one individually because there are some nuances depending on which type you select. So the first is going to be countries. Here is where you can paste your list. Either it needs to be separated in commas like this or one per line. The rule of 25 countries or regions per ad set still applies. So just because you can upload in bulk doesn't mean you can add your list of 100. Next, there's regions and states. Same thing, separated by a comma or one per line. Next, we have DMAs, designated market areas. And this is the first one where the location type has a couple options for the format. The first is going to be the name of the DMA. You see the examples right there, Philadelphia, Chattanooga, Cleveland but we can go up and look by DMA code. And while we see the examples are three digit numbers, these are not phone area codes. I'm pretty sure these are based upon Nielsen DMA markets for how viewers are viewing TV along the country, for how users are viewing TV within the country. I'm honestly only really familiar with it from the United States perspective. So if you're looking from outside of the US, I'll apologize, I'm a little wishy-washy on how it works for other countries. The next location type will be cities, and this is important when you're adding locations in bulk because you see the default radius for when you're adding specific cities is 25 miles. In some areas, that could be a pretty huge reach outside of your desired location. But don't worry, you can always go over to the default radius. You can expand the radius, lower it, or say, I only want to target the city. And this is going to be the more specific way to go. If you want to test out different radius targeting, you'll be able to do that, and I'll get to that really soon. After cities, it's going to be the postal codes or zip codes. Again, the limit for this option is 50,000. And while you're never forced to upload a file, in this case, it might be a little bit easier. So here's where you can drag and drop your CSV file, put a different zip code in each row, and then save it in there. Before you can try to match the audiences, you will have to select your default country. And Facebook knows where I'm located right now, so it is going to have my default country of where I am. If you do target other countries, you'll just have to update it so it can match it properly. And then there's addresses. This one I find can be a little bit more difficult to match. And as you can see, there are addresses right now of notable locations. But unlike the city's location type, you cannot target just a specific address. You have to choose at least a one mile radius so it's within the vicinity of an address. And remember, the address has to match what Facebook has within their database. You can't just upload a list of any random address, so you're not trying to be creepy and target people's houses. So it's easy enough for me to just go and grab a list of locations, paste them in here like I am, switch it back up to the zip codes. Now you can click match locations. Matching by zip codes is probably going to be the easiest to do. Really can't differentiate too much, but you do have the option to review it. If I realize like, okay, it's weird that it's giving me a blank option, not too comfortable with that one. You can always remove it before you add it. And if you know you're going to use these options over and over again, you can click this button right here to save it. And then you can add those locations. If I scroll down, Look at my map, there we go. It has, I believe, the 18 locations and zip codes I have added to this ad set. I'm gonna remove this, go back to the bulk option, show you one more thing. This time I'm gonna go by cities and then click match locations. Because I've run into this scenario a lot. It's easier to see when I just add one city, but if you're adding a list of multiple cities, you may run into this. I just wanted Chicago, and in my head, I only think of Chicago, Illinois. But there's a different city with Chicago in the name in Illinois, plus, other cities in different states that have Chicago in the name. In Tennessee, Indiana, we see a few other different cities, and Facebook will include all 10 of those options. 
So you'd have to remove all of the other options if you only want Chicago, Illinois. I just want to make sure that you were aware of that. Because while bulk uploading is still a lot easier than looking for them one by one, if you are trying to add a list of 250 cities, you may have to sort through a lot within the list before you want to add those locations to your ad set. I'm going to back out of this, and then I want to talk about another option, which is a true story. Because another way that we can target users is by dropping a pin on a specific location. Years ago, I had a bar as one of my clients, and they were close to the location of the Wisconsin State Fair. The location of this fair is pretty much this entire multi-block square that I'm going over with my mouse right now. And it is a limited event that happens in the summer for about 7 to 10 days. This bar was very close to the actual location of the fair. And there's a lot of people that come from all over the Midwest to this fair every year. This is all before COVID, but the fair's back. They wanted to get people to come to their bar after going to the fair. Yes, it was a bar, but they also had pretty good food. So one thing that we did was that we took a pin, dropped it right smack dab in the middle of the fair. Now what Facebook does, they try to make you expand your reach, going up to 10 miles, but you don't have to do that. The lowest amount you can pick is one mile. So there we see, again, that main rectangle that the fair is located in, but with the mile radius. We then changed the location status to people living or recently in this location. I didn't want to have people traveling to this location because it is a Wisconsin State Fair. So, so many people around the area are going to go and they also live there. So, not all just tours. I want to try to capture both. And yes, while people are still within the fair, we understand parking is a problem. So, people who are within the mile radius, we're okay capturing. So, the idea here is that we understanding when people are sitting down, having some food, waiting for someone to come to the bathroom, they're probably playing on their phone. And a lot of people who play on their phone open up Facebook. So we were running ads with anyone, 21 and older, of course, within that location saying, hey, after you're done enjoying the fair, come to our location, show your fair ticket and get a free appetizer, a few dollars off your drink, so on and so on and so on. This is great for trying to capture on live events or things happening in the moment to drive traffic and awareness that way. We have also used this type of targeting for when clients are at a conference. They want to get people coming up to their booth. We know where the conference location is. We know where the hotel location is. So we'll try to reach specific people with specific interests layered into it within this tight one mile radius. And we're running a few campaigns like that right now. Now that trade shows and conventions are opening back up, it's another way for us to use Facebook to help our clients get more visibility at these conferences. So that was just the location part. I know I mentioned that you can add your other layers to it, and you don't have to target just by everybody within a specific radius. You can still focus down a little bit more by specific interests. And as I X out of this, the last thing I want to talk about is going to be exclusions. So I just added the United States again, but maybe I have a product that doesn't ship to Alaska. Right now it's saying include. If we shift over to the left a little bit, click on the down arrow, we can choose to exclude this particular state. And it's giving me the red exclude. So now this ad set will target everything in the United States, people living in or recently in this location, except for Alaska. And that is the main gist of location targeting within Facebook ads. It's easy enough just to search for the locations that you want within Facebook. It's also pretty easy to be proactive, get your list ready before you even create your campaign so you can bulk upload them into your ad set. I think it's great that Facebook does have some unique options, like the Vegas Strip that I mentioned, that can make your location targeting a little bit more specific than what you can do in many of the other paid social channels. I think the most important part to make sure your location targeting is working like you want is that you have the right location status, you're using the proper exclusions, and that you understand how certain radiuses could work. If you have any other questions on how location targeting will work within Facebook ads, we're happy to answer them. So leave your question in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.